All right, welcome back, folks. I have an interesting conundrum. I actually played this already, and it wasn't interesting. In fact, I can't, I just can't get, I don't know what the word is, I can't get the right to like kill these guys. So as you can see, these are the Beast of Boring. This is the group, it's the name of the group. He is the master. They are right in all matters. Now, there's not really a whole lot we can do with these guys. In fact, when I try to fight them, they pretty much just cower and run away, and half of them are sleeping. It's not even a fight. Um, see, he doesn't even know his group, what's going on over his lands. I sound like a troublemaker. Oh, I didn't want to start a new conversation. I wanted to... Um, Ask him about something else. So, like, I can ask him about what's going on, all that kind of stuff, but he doesn't really care. I got beasts just like anybody else. It just, I can't really ask about what he, what they've done that's bad. I can't, and just killing them marks me as like a murderer, which basically I was. It was pretty bad. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a demand. I can tell him to yield. He says, you first, you coward. Continue shouting. Was I really shouting? Like that doesn't start a fight or anything. Continue shouting. I'm not shouting, I'm talking. Oh, well, we could actually become a lieutenant of his, but we really don't want to do that. How are you feeling? Why should I help? Why should you help what? So there's really not anything to do here. Uh, this is him, Elf Salor Sweetavi. He was once a craftsman. So I can't talk to him about like what he's done or anything like that. And ask him about his profession, but once again, just says he's master. He has no family. So, unfortunately, I know I've already, already wasted like three minutes. There's really just nothing I can do here, which is sad. Even if you like ask them about surrounding area and stuff, he's like, oh, well, ask me when I return home. So, it's not like he even lives at this camp. He's, he's not much of a bandit. So, I'm going to demand that he pays homage to the group I belong to. He says, I will not bow before you, but just now I refused. <laughs> so, like, we could attack him over that. That's terrific. Make another demand. So it's like we have to attack him first before we can do anything about that. Okay, let's try it real quick. I don't want to go around slaughtering everybody, but... Wow, these are some pretty bad uh, attacks. Let's try moving first. A little better. Let's see if we can cut his arm off. Oh, we don't have our weapons out. Let's try it one more time with our weapons out. Oh, okay, so now he agrees, now that we have our weapons out. I wonder if that shows up in our agreement list. It 
does not. Okay. It was inevitable. Goodbye. Okay. So, I know that wasn't very interesting. Believe me, it was no less interesting than killing them all was. That was ridiculously easy. And there was absolutely no point to it. Okay, however, if we can get through here, which I don't think we can. That's one of his lieutenants. We cannot. So what I want to do, though, is I want to go somewhere else, obviously. And one of the sites... We have a few. This was that shrine. That's down there. So we have that place. We have Gleefate, which is a tomb, which I thought there was something at. There was definitely something at Scorch Music. Let's see if we can... Uh, Scorch Music. It was also a tome, that's right. I'm probably too tired to be playing this right now. See, and everything else was really far away. Unfortunately, I can't remember where these things were. If we look at people. That doesn't really help. I don't want people. I want... Ah, it's a deity. I want a titan to kill. But they don't show up on this list. Uh, asses. We've known each other our entire lives. Ah, uh, so sad. So really, we're just stuck at looking for, like, layers and stuff. Brave Y'all was definitely one of them. And that's where I'd like to go. So I think we're going to try to find our way over there. Maybe difficult. Let's go for it. We have to wake our way around the mountains. Forest retreat. Don't really want to talk to the elves all that much. Oh, we're hungry. Stop for something to eat and drink. Hey. Alright, we got plenty to eat and drink as well. Let's eat the wolf meat. It's going to be a little more filling. Okay. We can travel from here because it's not a real river, just a stream. Okay, we're working our way. We need to go right. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to make it around this river. So let's find out if our guys can swim. Hopefully they can. We'll try to find a good place to cross. Turn on sneaking so we can see where the bad guys are. Okay, what do we have down here? Uh, just a pike. No, sturgeon. Okay. This is the first time we've gone into the water. Okay, so we need to move to the river. You guys can stay there. I can get away from this river before you try to cross it. Fast travel, you probably won't drown to death. There's a guy up there, or something up there. A couple of them, actually. 
Okay, well, it's dark now, so let's stop by this river. Let's go back to it, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. <laughs> well, apparently we discovered it and then lost it again. There's something in that tree. Here we go. And there's something in the water. Sponge man. Sponge man. Well, we gotta talk to the sponge man. Encounter sponge man. Is he trying to attack us? Yeah, he is trying to attack us. How are you feeling? I don't know you. We got the fighting. A few minutes ago, he attacked Fathry House Glazes. Is that one of us? It is. How dare you? <laughs> um, this is just kind of ridiculous. Well, yes. Run away. So we will drink. And eat some prickleberries. Can we eat a lot of prickleberries? No, okay. They probably make us just as full as actual meat. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of hang out at the base of this tree and go to sleep then. He's staying in the river. That's good. I use a sponge man. He probably can't leave the river. Let's go back to the river, though. Okay. Drink some water. Drink some more water. Now let's eat our wolf meat, because once again, I think it's probably heavier, but maybe not. I guess we could tell just by looking at it, couldn't we? Okay, so wolf meat seems to be two per. Prickleberries? Yeah, aren't even a pound per berry or whatever. Okay. Well, let's keep on going. We will find this layer. It's interesting. Can we travel on the stream? Apparently not. It's close though. We aren't even sneaking. Part of me kind of does want to get stopped by something around here. But then again, we also have somewhere important to be. I like that these are all little brooks instead of streams that we have to cross. Okay, we're hungry. Stop here, drink and eat. There it is. All right. A little water, a little wolf meat. And let's go. So just to make sure we are going to I should write these things down it's a layer brave yell that was it yep we're getting there
Hmm. Well, we do need to go up this way. I'm gonna start sneaking now that we're close by. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, we're good. Good, still sneaking. Here's this path. Sign leads south. And then it goes that way. That's what I thought, right? Now that's talking. I don't want to talk. Northeast, yeah. That's the one we were going after. Should just continue to go, right? Was it an alligator? A crocodile that whole time? Oh, crap. I was trying to get around it. Well, he killed it. Good job. Well, almost. We might as well finish it off. Or not. Wow. Head. There we go. Get some crocodile meat. Did it have a name? It did. Huh. Apparently this was a, uh, a fancy crocodile. Okay. That's a lot of meat. Get his scale. His nail. Nose cartilage, always good. Hmm. Well, let's grab some of the, uh, let's grab his scale. Prove that we killed him. Seems to work better than the skull. And then let's just grab 10 crocodile meat. And then we'll talk to this guy here. Give him the tank crocodile meat because it's slowing us down. Okay. And with that done, we killed it. It's about noon. We're getting quite close. Oh, whatever it is, is faster than us. And we're gonna have to cross this stream, which is a shame. something in that river. Ooh, it's an alligator snapping turtle, I bet. Alligator snapping turtle. I know my graphics. We don't want to cross too close to that, but we also don't want to cross where there's a ton of... Uh... Okay, never mind. <laughs> They're just going to shoot him anyways. A lust for blood. It gives into pain. I'm just gonna cross over here, I think. I don't wanna fight in the water. I'm not that good a swimmer. I mean, it's in pretty bad shape. I don't think it's gonna live much longer anyways. Let's move down to the river. And let them deal with that while we um, Try to get far enough away to go fast travel. There we go. OK. 
Okay. It's getting dark. But we found it. We're hungry as well, so let's... Eat some wolf meat. Drink some water. Drink some more water. And now let's sneak to the lair. And I believe that would be it. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. It's a little quicker. But... Yeah, we didn't do a whole lot this episode. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get the fight end in four minutes. It's just where the lair is. Doesn't necessarily mean that whatever we're trying to kill is home here. Oh, wow. Okay. This is the Hydra who has most certainly spotted us. It has a lot of heads. Hammer Man stands up. I don't know why he was laying down. Now, since he has a lot of heads, he can look in pretty much every direction, which is what we have going on here. He did not ask us if we wanted to attack this. <laughs> look at all these different heads. Okay, so it has seven heads. I have a feeling we might want to just go for the upper body right away. Go for the heart. We can't cut off every head. It's a tricky strike. Well, it attacked me, but I jumped away. What's that? Hmm. Silver coin. Hmm. This is going to be difficult. If I wait, it doesn't really come towards me. Uh, Mace Dwarf, can you continue attacking? There we go. Okay. Well, we go for the first neck or the fifth neck. Okay, I think we're going to have to go fast again, though. Or the scale. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Our crossbowman got torn. It's going to be a tricky strike on the body every time, I think. Let's try to get the leg. We tore the scale again. And it jumped away from the flying bolt and it landed near the guy, which is not a good thing. Who is he going for is the question. Wow, every head is attacking our buddy there. Okay, let's go for the first head. I miss. It's not good. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this thing. I'll go for that leg again. We're only tearing the scale. That's not good. Attacking us. Well, let's dodge. We don't have a whole lot of room. Let's dodge south. Oh, crap. It bit me in the arm. I lost my arm. That is not good. Oh, we need the scimitar. Have we put it in the backpack? Uh, uh, we are bleeding. I have a feeling this is going to end very quickly. Okay, well, let's um, remove the scimitar. Okay, 
Maybe we should be stabbing instead of slashing. Okay. We get bit in the upper left leg. He attacks us, we jump away. He bites at our hand. Opens up an artery. We lost the scimitar and the shield now. So we can't use our hands. And we also bit us in our boot. Hmm. Well, the best we can do now, I believe, is kick <laughs> or bite. <laughs> okay. Let's go for a bite. And we are dead. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't do a whole episode for that. Hydras are hard. Who knows if our companions will be able to make it. But thus ends the story of Joseph Atashav Airol Bekur. Joseph Blackblade the something jailer. I hope you enjoyed the story. We will have another one for you quite soon. Hopefully. Another uh, request from a viewer and commenter to have someone made in their likeness to go seek out glory and death. And I always provide at least one of those. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you all in the next series. Bye-bye.